did the San Francisco 49ers get one of the biggest underrated signings all of free agency and John Feliciano. I'm going to show you the tape right now, show you why. I think the San Francisco 49ers just got a starting caliber offensive lineman on a one-year deal. The question is, though, does he start? And if he does, where does he start? But let's look at the tape and see why I feel this way. Starting out with this particular play where he is blocking down, it's zone read behind him. So they're actually keying on pain. Like, obviously, you have the defensive end that you're going to hold as well, but you're also looking at pain as he is rushing up the field. You have to see Feliciano, number 76, has to take a very sharp down block, a really angular step to the right, as you can see where Payne is lined up. He's lined up on the inside shade of the tackle. So this is a hard down block for a guy like Feliciano. You can see Payne has eyes up. He's looking at the mesh. He's seeing, is it going to be handed off to Barkley or is the quarterback going to keep it? But you can see the quarterback keeps it and Feliciano is able to wall off Deron Payne who got paid very well this offseason. This is a hard block even if he was helped by the zone read action behind him. This is a hard block. Here we're going to see John Feliciano basically one-on-one -on -one with Jonathan Allen. Again, the reason why I'm showing this tape is because Payne and Allen are two of the best interior defenders in the NFL, and I really wanted to get a good sense of what the 49ers were getting with Feliciano. As you can see here, you're going to get some nice hand fighting from both Payne and Feliciano. What I like is Feliciano's ability to redirect hands to the inside, and he is going to control Jonathan Allen as a result. You see he lands wide, but then gets back into the chest plate, and that allows him to keep Allen right in front of him. You see the feet, you see the base, you see the strength, and the ability to control Allen and make sure he's not getting around him. Now, you do get help from your left guard in this situation, but you can see the left guard is just putting the hand out in case he needs to help. He's not look. He's looking outside towards the tackle. So this really is Feliciano versus Allen, and you can see how Feliciano does a phenomenal job of controlling Allen in pass protection. This is pretty darn good. And it, it's not done just here. It, he, he keeps going. He balled out this entire tape. I'm sitting here in shock. Like, we got this guy on a one-year deal? Stay tuned. We're going to look at more. Now, a big measuring stick test for me is athleticism from the center position. Can you pull as a center and can you be effective? Feliciano is pulling from center here. And look at how much ground he has to travel. He also helps the tight end who isn't able to set the edge. He is able to push, which creates the edge. And then Barkley, it does slow down the timing a little bit because you're going to see Barkley has to hug up on his hip a little bit. But Barkley is a patient runner and allows Feliciano to get back on track and lead the way and turns this into a first down. You're going to get the kick out from 65. Look at Feliciano. Basically occupy two to three Washington defenders. This is hard. You're going to get the shove here on the edge. See that? Then he stays on his track to be able to get the safety coming downhill. He gets on the safety. He's able to make it messy with the linebacker. And Barkley's able to run past the sticks. This is this is this is really good. I, I want to I want to make sure I'm being very crystal clear. This pull by Feliciano to be able to get the punch on the edge, which sets the edge, then get back on his track and get to safety is pretty pretty nice. As you guys know, I'm a big O-line guy, so I'm having a blast watching this tape. This guy's good. We got a good one. Well, I'm going to keep showing you why. We might have gotten one of the most underrated signings. I mean, for 49ers, for sure. This guy's the most underrated signing. And I'm going to keep showing you more clips of why that is. Now, we are, we are going to get John Feliciano pulling yet again and seeing how his pull is actually the key block that allows Daniel Jones to cut back 
and gain positive yardage. You can see he's angling towards the edge, but there's already two guys on him. So what does he do? He gets eyes back to the inside, and that allows him to pick up the safety coming downhill. As a result, it creates the running lane for Daniel Jones to run through and pick up positive yardage. This was a he's kind of an ad lib. He was kind of looking outside first. Eyes came back inside because outside was taken care of. Eyes go back inside, picks up the safety, and it creates a running lane. This is good stuff. Out in space, being able to keep your eyes, look for work, get your hat on a body, and it creates the running lane as a result. Great rep by John Feliciano. Cooking out here. Now, when you're an offensive lineman, and let's say the guy in front of you, in like Jer Deron Payne in this example, where you're sliding your protection to drops out, and you don't really have anyone to block, what do, what do they always say? They say, look for work. Look at how John Felin Feliciano looks for work and murders this defensive tackle for Washington. He's going for inside counter spin. Feliciano is right there and absolutely cleans his clock. This is, this is the type of stuff you love to see as an offensive lineman. Look for work, get your hat on a body, and absolutely obliterates this defensive tackle. Defensive tackle probably got whiplash from that hit. I like that. Here is just another angle of you can see the power that Feliciano delivers to that defensive tackle. Just absolutely pops him off his feet. Just that is a pure D cleater. If I'm a coach, we're in the we're in the meeting room rewinding that one back to back. That was beautiful. This particular clip is crazy for a couple reasons, but we're going to talk about what John did super well here on Jonathan Allen. Again, look at or that he has this again is a difficult block you're gonna have to see him reset the block jonathan allen does a good job of creating separation on feliciano but feliciano has the ability to one re-engage but then have the power to continue to push him now shout out to jonathan allen i don't know how he flips feliciano because look Fel allen's on his knees and somehow the leverage created Feliciano, he gets the hook on the back. It's crazy in that regard, too. But the focus on the rep here is Feliciano having to try to reach block this. As you can see, Jonathan Allen is on the outside shade of the guard, and he's got to reach block this. Luckily, you get the slant inside, but you can see great job by being able to re-engage. Jonathan Allen bench presses him. Feliciano re-engages, gets him to the ground effectively, and it allows – if if 31 doesn't make this tackle, there's a good chance Saquon makes a little bit more room out of this. But the point of all these clips that I'm showing is John Feliciano, I don't think this is a backup. I, I watched this entire tape front to back versus Washington – I'm looking at a starter. I am watching a starting interior offensive lineman. Now, the San Francisco 49ers got him on a one-year deal, but where would he start on that offensive line? It's not going to be Jake Brendel. Jake Brendel is the starting center. You just saw how much he got paid. He's not going anywhere. You look at Aaron Banks. Aaron Banks had a pretty good season in his first year starting. He's a second-round draft pick. Doesn't feel like that, but if you look at right guard, Spencer Burford is a fourth round draft pick. He's going into his year two and he was rotating with Daniel Brunskill. When I look at John Feliciano, I see a starter. I don't see a backup. I see a guy who can play now, play now and be ultra effective from the interior offensive line. So maybe what the 49ers are doing is creating some competition at the right guard spot with Spencer Burford and potentially pushing Feliciano to get the start maybe just for one more year while Spencer Burford continues to develop as a player. Because I I've watched one tape, Commanders versus the Giants, and I am floored at how talented, 
how talented John Feliciano is, whether it's in space, whether it's as a puller, whether it's getting to second level on linebackers or safeties in pass protection, short passing game, long passing game, five to seven step drops, whether it's screen game. I am pleasantly surprised at what John Feliciano showed on tape. Uh, and the fact that the San Francisco 49ers got this guy on a one-year deal could be a huge asset moving forward. We're going to find out. We'll see. Do you think he starts? Let me know in the comments below.